What's up guys, Coach Lena here from the Kick House Nation and I am coming at you with a 30 minute hip based workout. We've got three different rounds today. First one is gonna be lower, second one will be core, and then that last one will be upper. Now each exercise within these rounds will be 30 seconds on and there will be no break until we've completed two minutes worth of work. So just know that you will get a 30 second break after we've hit each individual set of our body, but let's get started. So first and foremost, we're gonna get started with our lower body based workout. Let's go ahead and place all of our weight onto the right side of our body. We're gonna balance here and we're gonna go for a single leg deadlift. Now balancing in itself is hard. We're gonna try to come down, reach right below that knee. Nice squishy mat here, adding a little bit of extra balance for me. Now, if you've got some cranky ankles like I do, years of soccer did me no good. This is great for ankle stability. Using that core, make sure to keep the hips facing down towards the ground the entire time. Don't open up and face towards that opposite direction. Less than 10 seconds here, we take this back leg, we go straight into a pendulum lunge. We step forward, come through, step back. So yes, this leg is getting a lot of love right now. And then the next time through, we will just do the other side. 30 seconds here, not even, we're already halfway done. The 30 seconds will go by fast. So again, this is all at your own pace. Woo! Squeeze that core using your exhale. Less than 10 seconds here, smooth transition. When I say go, all of my weight will go onto my right side and we'll do a single leg deadlift there. Nice sturdy knee, soft bend. Don't lock the knee out even when you come up because that's gonna make your joints work. We want your muscles to work. Slow and controlled here. If you have weights at home, great way to grab a weight, hold on to it, counterbalance. Less than 10 seconds, reach down, tap, come back up. Smooth transition. This left leg will step forward and back. Let's go for it. Booty cheeks are woo, a burning. We get a 30 second break after this, so just know that it's coming. Good job, you guys. Chest up tall, eyes up as well. Beautiful, more than halfway done. 10 seconds, whoo. Spicy muscles, that's what we're looking for. Less than 10, give me one more, maybe one more, and rest. So, quick 30 second break. We're gonna be going into our core exercises now. Watch me so that you can understand what is expected. Elbow plank, hands in the shape of an 11. Feet out for stability or closer for intensity. Knee taps, both is harder, single is less hard. Rolling on over to our back, we're gonna come up, we're gonna do nice zombie slow reverse sit-ups. After that, we've got walking push-ups and we'll get there when we get there. So, elbow plank, squeeze at the knees, tap down, tap up just a small hinge at that knee. Soon as it taps, we come up out of it. Less than 10 seconds, not gripping the hands here, right? Nice and uh, smooth, easy open palms. Less than 10 and we roll over onto our back. Keep going, keep going. One more, nice job. Over onto that back, let's start up tall. Halloween's a coming, so we're gonna act like we're zombies, Whoa, okay? Slowly roll back down. Good. As you guys are doing this, know that up next, we're going back into that forearm plank. So 10 seconds here. Coming up, slow, getting every single vertebra. We flip over into our forearm plank in three, two. Now, you can stay here, option number one. Option number two, walk it up. Walk it back down. Walk it up, walking push-ups. Again, these are your two options. This is perfect just as it is, but I just can't keep still for that long, let's be honest. So I gotta do some walking in the park. Keep your hips facing down towards the mat. Less than 10, we will flip onto our back for bicycle crunches. In three, two, flip it over. Two options here, bicycle crunches. We're familiar, we're comfortable, Take it up to the next level. Runner sit up, same idea. Bring the chest up off the mat. Rotate the shoulders towards that knee. 
A little bit more core engagement. Less than 10 seconds here. Nice job. We get a 30 second break after this. Nice, and done. So, next up, upper body. You have 20 seconds stress, so wipe off. We're gonna go into some ankle taps. Make sure that from your high plank position, our feet are wide. You do not have to touch the ankle, but you need to reach opposite hand towards opposite ankle, bringing the hips back down, shoulder height, not more. We will get started in three, two, let's go. Reaching for opposite ankle, good stuff. Now after this exercise, we've got the same exercise twice. We're just gonna isolate one arm over the other, just so that you can know and prepare what's to come. Doesn't matter which side you start on, just know that that's gonna be coming here soon. Perfect, less than 10. When I say go, roll on to your right side. We're gonna place our left arm across our belly and place it onto the earth. Our opposite arm is gonna be here. We're gonna be pushing up nice and strong, okay? Now again, for your legs, you can keep them nice in here for a modification or you can have them off to the side. Press up, back down. Now I have my arm on my shoulder. You can put it on your belly. Doesn't really matter, but I'm pressing into this palm. Really working that tricep. Same thing other side. Definitely funky, but definitely effective. Arm right by my shoulder, pressing up into the palm. Notice that I'm coming in strong. Right there, okay? Good, exhaling on the way up. 10 seconds, good. When we're done with this, we come up onto our feet and we do a speed bag-like motion. You can move the feet if you want, up and at them, arms up by the hairline. We're gonna go speed bag, speed bag, okay? So again, without the feet, just moving those arms as fast as we can. I can't do it without the feet, clearly. Making sure that our arms are up. Can you go the other way? We have 15 seconds left. Really pulling those back muscles down our spine. Good stuff. Less than 10 seconds here. Light on the feet. Three, two, and rest. All right, you've seen everything. Now we're gonna do them all three more times. So let's get started with our lower body. Rest for 20 more seconds. Let's go over some of that deadlift items. Soft, soft bend. Hips facing down towards the mat. Think about driving your heel towards the ceiling and then coming back down, okay? Now again, the squishier your surface is, the harder it'll be. I'm gonna start off on my right leg. My left leg is gonna do the lifting, but a lot of my right leg is gonna be doing the work. Good, slow and controlled here. You can tap the front of the shin, totally fine. I almost like that, gives me a little bit of a goal. 10 seconds here. Now remember, right when that buzzer goes off, we take that leg and we go straight into our pendulum lunges, forward and back, left leg, let's go. Boom, boom, press through, exhale. Shh. Shh. Big power push through here. That's a long distance to go. My right leg is a burning. You are halfway. Shh. Good stuff. Less than 10. Make sure to use the arms. They're there to help you, not to hold you down. We're gonna move to that next leg. Ready, set. Other leg, let's go. Left leg did the work last time. Woo. Right leg does it this time. Now again, great for balance, you guys. I highly recommend doing this a couple times a week, especially if your balance is poor. Another big thing about these is that we're not reaching, right? Pulling our back muscles down, tall chest, tight core up and under, reaching, tapping. Less than 10 seconds, my right leg will start to do the pendulum. That's my leg that's up. Step out, step back, step out, step back. Notice how every time I do this, my chest comes with me. Out and back. I'm not going lean and lean. It's coming with you. 
We're more than halfway, 10 seconds left. Good stuff. Remember we get a break after this before we get into our core. So lots of little breaks here, that's okay. We're really making sure and break that the next area of our body is prepped and prepared. Coming down to the ground, we've got core next. Elbow plank with knee taps, slow zombie crunches, walking push-ups followed by mountain climbers. Biggest thing about an elbow plank is that our shoulders are almost over our elbows, over our forearms, not here pulling on that shoulder girdle. Elbow plank in three, two, let's get started. So again, easier, harder. Single is easiest, both at the same time, it's definitely harder. Isolating that lower core, good. And it's just a quick little tap, you guys. If you do need to take a break, drop the knees, three, two, one, we come back up. But we have three, two on our back. Let's rise from the dead. Ooh, I used to love watching The Walking Dead. But now there's just like too many seasons, you know? It's like season 25 and now the zombies like have kids or something. I don't know, I don't think that's right, but I stopped watching it a long time ago. Less than 10 seconds. We go back into that forearm plank in three, in two, one. Flip it over again. Stay here or walk it up. If you need a break, take an inhale and an exhale after every set of movements. What I don't want to see is from this high plank. What happened? Your butt just stayed in the same spot. Get that booty down. Come on. 10 seconds here. Good. We're being nice and gentle when we bring our forearms to the earth. Don't slam your body down. If you have three, two on your back, bicycle crunches, shh, 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 or kick it up a notch, runner sit ups. Same thing, my arms do come away from my ears and I act like I'm running. <sighs> running man. Good job, you guys. Shh, up at the top, 10 seconds. Shh, shh, beautiful. Shh. For four, three, two, one more. Nice job and rest. Grab a quick sip of water. Let's go over these upper body movements one more time. First up, we have our ankle taps. You still have 20 minutes, 20 minutes. 20 minutes of rest, that's the whole workout. 20 seconds. Reach and tap, come back to high plank. For those triceps, what I'm gonna do is place it on my belly, place this arm right by my elbow of the opposite, press into my palm, slowly lower down, all right? Let's get into our elbow plank, I'm sorry, into our high plank for our ankle taps, go. Back center. Tap, hips come center again. Really using our core here as well to drive the hips up, tap, come back. Now again, even if we just have to reach in the general direction, that's totally fine. Shoulder workout here as well. Really getting the upper body. On your mark, get set, let's go onto the floor. My right arm is gonna be wrapped around my belly. My left arm is gonna be on the mat. Exhale, press up, Shh. slowly lower down. Shh. Now I'm really pressing into my palm and my fingertips are really wide on the earth. Shh. Nice job, you guys. Shh. Half of it is also staying grounded in the legs. That itself is its own workout. Shh. Good stuff. We switch to the other side. Three, two, one, let's go. Flip it on over. Grab that belly, give yourself a hug. You can say, good job, me. Doing a great job. Or you can say, oh my god, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat after this. Good. Exhale on the way up. Shh. Perfect. Shh. You've got 10 seconds here. Really try to bust them out. Nice. Work in the back side of that arm, the tricep. Speed bag is in three, two, up on your feet. Let's get after it. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just really light on my heels here. Don't be in front of your face. Be up higher, hairline. Look up where the ceiling and the wall meet, right at that crease. Can you go the opposite direction? 
10 seconds. Come on. Come on. Good. You've got this. Keep breathing. Relax the shoulders faster. Three, two, 30 second rest. You're halfway done. Take a second. Wipe it off. We're gonna go back to that lower body. Now we've gotten comfortable. We learned the technique. We've done it once. Let's try to keep it that same or bump it up a bit just with the transitions. You still have 10 seconds of rest. Again, imagine your foot three spots. One, two, three. Press into all of them at the same time to balance on the leg. Shift your weight. Let's get into that deadlift. Reach down, squeeze, press the hips forward. And back up, there you go. Good. See, if I was good at everything, like 100% of the time, I wouldn't need to work out anymore. And that's just not my lifestyle, you know? Woo! This squishy mat makes a huge difference. So if you definitely want to challenge, go in an area of your home that has like some shag carpet that you need to replace. One more. Left leg is gonna come out, pendulum lunge. Big press up and off. Use the quad, glutes are engaged. Boom. I want you to think of me tomorrow when you're doing anything with your legs. Walking up the stairs, you know, whatever. Good stuff, 10 seconds here. Shh, shh, shh. Notice how I'm using my arms, whoa. Good stuff. Couple more for three, two. Let's shift our weight onto that opposite side and deadlift, reach down, tap. I'm flying. Look at me, mom. I'm doing it. Nice job. Like I said, I have cranky ankles from soccer, but I still play. So, you know, it's my own fault. But this definitely helps. I try to do this when I warm up for my games. Um, that we lose, just kidding. We've won all of them in my head. All right, let's go into those lunges. Boom! Boom! Big step forward. 90 degree, both knees. 90 degree, both knees. Ha <laughs> ha! Keep at it. Halfway. Exhale. This standing leg is doing a lot, even though it's not the one moving. Less than 10 here. You get a break. In three, two, and one. Nice job. Going into our core once more. Come on down to the ground. Wipe off that sweat. Grab a quick step. You've got 20 seconds. Again, with that elbow plank, if you haven't been doing knee taps, highly encourage you to do it now. If you've been doing single knee taps, try to do double for as long as you can until you need to switch back to the singles. Extra added bonus, when we do those zombie crunches, if you make zombie noises, you'll burn more calories. Scientifically proven. All right, elbow plank, knee taps, knee taps, nice and quick. Notice how my shoulders are shifted over my forearms. My hands are in the shape of an 11. I'm not gripping my palms for dear life. Shh, shh, shh. Less than 10 seconds. Shh. This is where you start to see the drip of the sweat come off of your forehead onto the floor that you have to clean up later. Let's roll onto our back. All right, are you ready? Best zombie impression. Ooh. This sounds like me coming out of bed, to be honest. Ooh. Here we go. Zombie impression. From the earth, out, back into the ground. Now the slower you go on the way down, the better it is. Hit every single vertebra all the way down. You have less than 10 seconds here. Good job. One more. Flip it back onto that elbow plank. I want you to do your best to try to give me walking push-ups. That means coming up, coming back down. Best part about these is to put the hand right under the shoulder so you have maximum push. If you place these too far up here, you have nowhere to go. Press up, back down, less than 10 here. We have bicycles or runner sit-ups after this. Ready, set, roll it over, pick your poison. Bicycles, shoulders are still coming up off the mat. Legs are staying elevated. Runner sit-ups. Act like you're running. Shh. Opposite shoulder goes towards opposite knee. Come back down. Shh. 
Now, if you wanna try runner sit-ups, but less intense, leave the legs on the earth, and then bring them up. More intense, squeeze the glutes, lift the legs up. Shh, never let them touch. Three, two, and that's break. Good job, you guys. We are going into our third upper body circuit. So let's make sure to really start to engage the upper body by pulling the back muscles down my spine. I'm thinking of a V shape or an upside down triangle. So with that, we're gonna get into our high plank position. Reach opposite fingertips to opposite ankle. High plank in three, two, and one. Let's go, reach down, back out. Hardest part is a hard stop with the hips. Reach, back out. Now when we reach, we're not twerking open this shoulder, right? We're keeping our shoulders facing down towards the ground, raising our hips up, reaching towards that ankle, using the lower core to stop. Less than 10 seconds here, and then we go to our triceps, push-ups on the earth. You've got this for three, two, laying down on the ground, grabbing my stomach, hand comes by my shoulder, exhale, press up, press up, good, Shh. nice job. Again, my hand is nice and wide, right by my shoulder, a little bit lower, pressing into the palm. 10 seconds here. The best part is the slow return on the way down. The slower, the better. Give me one more. Three, two, flip it to the other side. Let's do it again. Grab that tummy, hand on the side. Boom. You all are adults. Grab your stomach, okay? You can call it whatever you want, but anatomically speaking, your stomach. Nice job. Halfway. My triceps are burning, baby. Shh. Just like that. Shh. That tricep is such a little muscle, but we gotta work it because it's super important. For three, two, up on our feet, speed bag. Come on, come on. Boom, boom, boom. Quick, quick, quick. Notice how I'm not here by my eye line. I'm up higher. I'm making my chin come up away from my chest. Reverse that position, you have 15 seconds left. Whew, breath is getting heavier for sure. Less than 10, can you go quicker? Boom, 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 boom. For five, four, three, two, one more. Rest, all right. Last time through, ladies and gentlemen, take a quick second. Ask yourself, how are we doing? We holding up, we feeling good? Because you really only have seven minutes of work left, if that, I don't do math, but we just have fun left. So now that we've done it three times through, give it to me, give it to me, okay? Do this for you, not just for me. Let's start with our weight on our right leg, we go to that deadlift. Soft, nice structured core, pull the belly up and under, don't push the hips back, reach down, come back up, inhale, exhale. At times when I feel overwhelmed, like I can't catch my balance, especially when we're doing stuff like this, I always come back to my breath. Inhale, exhale. You always wanna exhale on essentially the hard part, okay? Give me one more. Left leg's gonna come through, step out, step in. So if I gotta get up, I'm gonna exhale. Because when I exhale, my belly contracts. When my belly contracts, I have more balance. Shh. Shh. 10 seconds. Good. Keep it up. Press off this heel. Good. Keep going. Give me one more. For three, two, we go other leg. Straight into it. I'm just gonna keep my balance here. Reach down. Exhale up. Shh. Tall, proud chest. But we're not locking out the knee. The minute you lock out the knee, you restrict blood flow to your head. When we restrict blood flow to our head, we faint, we fall, we get lightheaded, whatever the case. So always keep all of your joints a little bit loose. Less than 10. My back leg is gonna step through for those lunges in three, two, one. Let's go. Boom. Boom. Exhale up. Good. Notice my arms. They're here helping me or they can be at my hips. This is harder because I have less holding me stable. 
10 seconds. Come on, come on. Good job, you guys. I hope you have a smile on your face like me. You can just force it. Mine's real though. Three, two, 30 second break. That's the last time that we were doing legs, so give yourself a high five on those bad boys. We're going into our core for our last section. One more time to tell you what the exercises are. Elbow plank with knee taps, zombie crunches, walking push-ups, and then our runner sit-ups or bicycles. You've got less than 10 seconds here. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Forearm plank, ready, set, let's go. From here, singles or doubles or no hands, just kidding. You wish, that means you're flying. I wish I could fly. Would that be your superpower or invisibility? You never know. I'm just distracting you from the pain by now. Less than 10 seconds. Good stuff, we roll onto our back for our zombie crunches in three and two and one. All right, nice and slow, as slow as you can. As slow as you can, maybe you get in two crunches this entire time because you want to go as slow as you can. Exhale back up. Let's go. Slow, slow, slow. Nice job. Keep it up. Less than 10 seconds. Maybe give me one more. I will tell you this while we're doing this. My biggest fear is zombies. That movie Zombieland, couldn't even watch it. Let's get over into those bicycle crunches. I know, Zombieland was fake, but what are you gonna do? It haunted my nightmares. Bicycle crunches here. You are at halfway. Intensify it if you choose so. Runner sit-ups. Boom, really big that twist. Boom, exhale at the top. Shh, creating that nice V cut in our abs. Less than 10. Shh. Shh. For three, two. Shh. One more. Good job, you guys. Walking push-ups, we skipped out of order. That's okay. Down, down. Down, down. Up, up. I know you guys caught me. I was just testing you. You have to, you know, get stuff mixed up sometimes so that your brain works harder. Keep going, keep going. Again, you can always drop down to the knees, but keep the toes on the earth. For three, for two, and one. Say bye-bye, core. Boom. We've got one more section of our workout, and that's upper body. So shake it out. Give me a couple of Michael Phelps. You know what I'm saying? We've got four more exercises. Ankle taps, triceps on the left, triceps on the right, speed bag, we cool down. You have less than 10 seconds, so meet me in your high plank in three, two, high plank, tap it out. Go a little bit more for speed here. That core is gonna get engaged because we also just warmed it up. Remember, we're not dipping the hips. Don't do that, okay? Keep it nice and straight. Hips stay in line with your shoulders. Shh. Shh. Nice. Less than 10 here. You've got this. For four. For three. For two. Roll on your side. Grab your stomach. Let's go into those tricep push-ups. Press into your palm. Slow on the way down. Single count. Three, two, one. Big push. Three, two, one. One, that's where the good stuff lives, okay? In that nice ooey, gooey, honey hold. Come on, 10 seconds. Shh, yes, shh. Give me one more for three, two, and one. Other side, just as much love on this one. You went slow on the first, you gotta go slow on this one. Good, shh, keep it up, shh. Nice stuff, shh. Slow, slow. Just like those zombie crunches, challenge yourself. How slow can you go? How slow can you go? Less than 10 seconds. Keep it up. After this, you have speed back, and then we cool down. Give me one more big power push. Shh. Up on your feet, let's go speed back. Ready, set. Non-stop movement. Good. Let's finish this bad boy out strong. Maybe do 10 in one direction. 10 in the other direction. You can do heels to the floor, or you can do toes to the ground. 
Doesn't really matter, just don't stay still. You have 10 seconds left, come on. Don't hit yourself in the face either. Keep it up for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. Oh my goodness, grab your towel, whatever you have, your shirt, wipe off your face, grab a quick sip of H2O, and let's cool down. First and foremost, go ahead, place your hands on your thighs. Take some deep breaths, open up your chest. Fun fact about this pose, commonly in sports, when you see people who are tired, they say, get your hands up on top of your head. This anatomically speaking does not open up your chest as well as this pose. The people, the reason why sports and there's a stigma behind this pose is because I look weak right now. I look defeated. That's not the case. Put your hands on your legs, open up that chest, recover quicker. I don't care if you stand tall, I'm still gonna beat you out on that basketball court. Just kidding, I don't play basketball. All right, let's bring one arm across our chest to press the shoulder down. Squeeze, squeeze. Deep breaths here. Well, I hope you guys had a really good time. Definitely some new movements. Definitely a little bit of a burn. Switch that arm out. At the end of the day, you showed up, you put in the work. Whether today was your best workout or your worst workout, all I can ask is that you keep being consistent with yourself. Go ahead and grab your right leg, small bend in this knee. When we're doing these quad stretches, I want you to try to squeeze your knees together as close as you can. Once you've gotten your knees close, this hip, the leg that's lifted, I'm gonna press my hip forward. You're gonna feel a nice little chain down the straight of your quad. Couple more seconds, same leg extended out, press the heel into the earth, send the hips back, Nice long spine, I'm not getting lazy here, okay? For more of a stretch, opposite fingertips reach towards the big toe. Slowly come back up, let's do that on the other side now. Bring the quad up into the hand. Here's another fun fact. I'm full of fun facts today. Someone told me that if you poke your belly button while you do this stretch, you have perfect balance. Let's find out. Just look at me, do you see me moving? Oh my God. All right, bring that leg out. But I will say that that does work. Poking your belly button, don't ask me. I don't know if that one's scientific, but no harm in trying. If it gets you to stretch in order to have you try, win, win. Good job, let's finish with two inhales and exhales. Bring those arms up, inhale. Strong exhale, one more time, inhale, reach up high. Exhale, give yourself a hug, a pat on the back. Thank you for coming here today, Kick House Nation, and I hope to see you again online very soon. Peace.